In Creo Parametric, you can use the connect command to complete pipelines between disjointed segments. There are five different scenarios that we will look at. First, let's get into piping. I'll go to the Applications tab and then click on Piping. And my screen is already starting to get cluttered. So first off, let's go to the Pipeline view in the Model Tree, and I will expand the Unclassified group. Let me select a couple of the pipelines over here, and then right-click and hide those. And then let's select these other ones over here. I'll use the Shift key for selecting the inclusive group. And then from the right mouse button, I will hide those as well. For the first scenario, we'll take a look at when you're trying to connect pipes that are collinear. So let me start off by selecting which pipe I'm going to route. I'll choose route pipe and then the third one. And I will click on the connect command. In the dialog box, it's prompting me to select two different ends. I will select this end, hold down the control key and select the other end, and it will complete it between the two. It does give you the ability to edit different dimensions. Here I've got choices where I can change the length of the segments over here, or I could choose length and an angle, or the other length and the other angle. But in this particular situation, I don't need to have any values here at all. Let's just use a zero offset for both. And then I will click on the OK button. And we have our first connect created in our model. OK, now that I am done with that one, let me right click on it and hide it. And then I'm going to work on the incomplete fifth pipeline. So let me show that one. The second scenario is when you are trying to connect two different pipes that are coplanar and parallel. So in this particular situation, let's choose to route the fifth pipeline. And before I do this, I'm going to go to the environment command and change this to a bend corner type instead of a fitting, just to show you what will automatically be generated in here. Let's choose connect and I'll select this end and then hold down the control key and select the other end of the segment. And I'll zoom in so you can see a preview of the bend. Once again, we have different dimensions that we can edit. I can grab this dimension and change it. Maybe I want it extended a distance of, let's use another thousand in there and then let's go down to the bottom. And likewise, I can drag that one and maybe I'm gonna use a distance here of 500. And alternatively, you could specify one length and an angle. So I could say that, hey, instead here, I want an angle of 105. Oops, didn't like that one. Let me, let me try something smaller. There it goes. So when the preview goes away, you know that you're trying to do a value that is not going to work. That's good for that one. Let's click the OK button. Now for the third use case, actually, let me go to my regular view. I want to hide that curve that's starting to annoy me. Let me just go to the skeleton and hide it. There we go. And let me hop back over to my pipeline view. For the third scenario, I am going to route this pipeline. So let me show it and I'll hide the fifth one that I am no longer working on. Okay, so for the third scenario, we have a situation in which they are coplanar, but not parallel to one another. So let's choose route pipe, pick A006, and then we'll choose the connect command, and I'll pick this end, hold down the control key and select the other end. And once again, we have the different dimensions that we can edit. This one down here, I really don't need a dimension. I'll just change it to a value of zero. And then this one, I can increase the value. Let's use 500. You can see how it adjusts. Alternatively, you could use an angle to define uh, where the bend should be on that end. But this one is fine. Let's click the OK button. For the fourth scenario, let me hide the pipeline I was just working on and show A007. Now we have a situation in which our pipe ends are non-planar. So let's choose to route that pipe and I will connect and pick this end over here and then this other end. 
What it does is it extends so that they are going to end up being parallel. Then you have the different dimensions that you can change. And right now it's putting them at a 90 degree angle, but you can change that as well. So for example, if I drag this, hey, we're gonna get that angled over there. If I grab this one, well, it's going to end up even angling it in the plane that it sits in. So I can grab it and move it out over there. So that is good for that one. Actually, let me change to show you an angle one. Here you can see that we have all four uh, dimensions that are available to us. So let's change this to 120 degrees for that particular length. And let's choose, let's drag this back. I don't like that being so out of whack over there. All right, so that is good. Let's click the OK button. And now for the final scenario, you can actually use the connect command to do all your routing for you. So in this particular situation, let me turn on my coordinate system display and I'm going to create a brand new pipe. Let's call this A-008, keeping with my naming convention. And I'll choose this particular pipeline stock and then I'll click on the connect command and then let's grab, let's see, let's grab this coordinate system here and hold, hold down the control key and grab this coordinate system there. And it just gives us a bunch of nice straight line segments in order to route the pipe. I will click on the okay button. And so there you have it, five different ways that you can use the connect command in order to complete your pipelines.